Here's another thought, a query for you. You know, there's lots of people today that see a vast difference between secular and sacred. So the things that are secular really have very little value. Or they have degrees of value, but they're not the, not placed on the same level as sacred. Well, I just want you to realize that, and I, this was brought out in an article that I read in the, it's a periodical in Primus, a very interesting article. And the scholar that wrote this, is, he's a bishop, his name's Robert Barron. But what he said was, is that we view the world from the viewpoint of religion and secular. That's how most modern people look at it. We have our religious life, those things are values that we've received from a truths that we've come to know that are not necessarily embedded in the culture around us. Hopefully they are, but not necessarily. Uh, we honor these truths, these spiritual realities. And then there's the secular world where we just live our life and, and we do the things that are common and, and normal. But he brings out the issue that in ancient Israel, it really wasn't like that. And it is true. Everything was sacred. Every relationship was to be a relationship that their recognition of God was in the midst of it. Their relationship to God was to be placed over the doorway as they walked in the house. They were reminded to come back to the place where the temple was three times a year. It was, it was the duty of the Israelite to come back and celebrate their relationship with their God. They were to teach these truths to their children, as the Word of God says there in Deuteronomy chapter 6. They were to be reminded of these things. They were to live by every word that proceeds from God's mouth in Deuteronomy 8, 3. Even Jesus said that in Matthew 4, in verse 4. So, from that viewpoint, there really isn't a distinction between what is secular and what is sacred. Now, you've probably heard that before, but think about it. That means that everything we do, God wants to be in it. He wants to be a part of our relationships with our loved ones, our family, our work, people we work with, our community. God wants to be part of it. Whether they recognize it or not, he wants us to recognize it. He wants us to recognize the gift and blessing that he's given us in our spouses and our children and our grandchildren and the blessings materially that we've received he wants us to recognize he wants us to honor him in these things that's what our offerings are all about honoring god for what he's given us he wants us to thank him and even our prayers are to be you know if you will salted with thanksgiving Everything it says in Philippians 4 and verse 5, through prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving. And everything gives thanks in 1 Thessalonians 5. What is it, verse 19, I believe? This is the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus. So, look, we have a great opportunity today. We get to see the world differently. We get to see God in everything that we see, everything that comes our way. Is another opportunity for God to express his great appreciation, his love, and his power in our life. Till next time, friends. God bless you.